Welcome to Star Citizen. So today I'm doing a simple test to see how much does the heart rate in this game actually affect your aim. To start out with this, I'm gonna need some boxes. So the setup Pro 9 mission it was. Shooting at these poor boxes will of course destroy them, but first of all we gotta get them outside and hopefully this doesn't really cause that much damage, I'm hoping. Otherwise I may have just wasted a bit of time. But okay, so boxes for boxes. I'm just gonna see how much will the stability change if I go sprinting and come back with a heart rate of around 160. Now to actually get my heart rate to, to 160, I will need to sprint with some real heavy armor, which I have on me right now. I got myself the Hurston armor. I really don't want to do some long range uh, uh, stability because I know at long range the stability will be horrible. That is a guarantee. The question instead would be, in a distance, what would be considered close to medium, which is the most common combat distance in this game, how much will the stability change? So I will be putting these boxes to the second flare that is up ahead, and I will be staying at the first one, which is right here next to me. I'm gonna use here only pistol, because pistol is the most stable gun we have. Most others are automatic. There are snipers that are single shot, but for those I would need to increase distance. And I, we already know that the aim is gonna be awful there. So starting out with pistol. Yeah, seems quite stable. The stability is there, recoil is basically non-existent, it does pop up, but the aim doesn't really change. It doesn't even shake, so it's 100% stable. Ah, sadly the weather turned into a storm. But okay, so somewhere between 100 and 120, we'll see what our aim is. Now then, it's shaking very slightly. You might not even notice it, you might not even feel that it blew up. And yeah, it's very, very slightly shaking, so... Heart rate of 100, 120, which you will most likely be at when you're doing some bunker missions or are engaged in combat, it's not going to be a problem. Not at medium, not at close range. Maybe not even at long range. We are almost at 170 beats per minute. It's probably going to, yeah, it's going to stabilize at 160. And we'll actually see how much the aim changes here. Whoa, I can actually feel it. So there definitely is some stability lost with the high heart rate. Now it still wasn't as bad as I expected because the guns are stable themselves and the aim stability, it didn't really go so left and right. It still did a bit to the left, a bit to the right, a bit up, a bit down, but nothing too bad. Ah, the weather has gone to hell. But so, the stability does get a decent change from the heart rate but since your heart rate actually drops really fast the moment you stop running the stability you will get your stability back real quick you could even see it from my last two shots which i did the stability i gained back was so rapid that it felt like there was no loss whatsoever so for conclusion your heart rate connected to your aiming stability is rather irrelevant unless you're doing some sniping First of all would be at the speed of which your heart rate or the beats per minute goes down is so fast you will get your stability back in mere seconds. Secondly, the stability loss itself wasn't that great. You would still be able to hit your targets even at long ranges with the heart rate of around 100-120 which would be your average. The chances of racking up a heart rate of 160 are rather slim and uh, the highest chance of getting it would be with heavy armor and in special scenarios. Well, the stability is there, the precision loss is near non-existent and there is no need to even concern yourselves with this uh, stability loss connected to your heart rate. But anyways, thanks for watching.